because the EpiPen is no longer used on the, the ambulance because it's too costly. EMTs are now being trained to pull the medication up from the vial or ampule if necessary and administer it to the patient. So you need to have a basic knowledge of drug calculation, which is why you're required to have maths to be a part of this program. So we're gonna go into that. I'm not gonna cover all the formulas. We're gonna do it in stages. Again, we have to learn to, to creep, then we walk, then we run. So we're gonna do it in stages. And we're starting off with the formula for exact concentration. So exact concentration. What does that mean? So the exact concentration is the amount of a drug, right? So it's the amount of a drug available in one mil of fluid. So majority of the medications that are given in emergency medicine are in what we would call a solution form. And that solution has a certain amount of drug in a certain amount of fluid. The exact concentration is the amount of that drug that is available in one mil. And the formula is very straightforward. So to, form, to, to find the exact concentration, it is the amount of drug divided by the available volume. So it's the amount of drug divided by the available volume. Example one, you have a solution with eight milligram in four mil. So we have eight milligram in four mil. The exact, based on the exact concentration formula, which is the amount of drug available divided, sorry, the amount of drug divided by the available volume, it would be eight milligrams divided by four mils. And if you divide eight milligrams by four mils, you get two milligram per mil. So it would be two milligram per mil for the exact concentration. Example two, if you have a solution with 20 milligrams in five mils, and we need to find the exact concentration, it's going to be 20 milligrams divided by five mils. And 20 divided by five is four, and you put back your measurements. So it's four milligrams per mil, because none of the measurements cancel out. All right, so class work, you have a solution with five milligrams in five mils. What is the exact concentration? You can type it in the chat. So that one is yours. You see one milligram per mil, I see somebody with a question sign, so they're not sure. Everybody comfortable with the one milligram per mil? Because that's pretty straightforward. Right? <clears throat> so it's five milligrams in five mils. You divide five by five, you get one. The measurements don't cancel out. So it's five milligram per mil. Don't put one before the mil. Right? So do not put a one before the mil, just put the mil. All right, classwork again, you have 250 milligram in 50 mil solution. What is the exact concentration? OK, 
okay, majority is saying five milligrams per mil. That would be correct. That would be correct. All right. So the exact concentration would be 250 milligrams divided by 50 mils, and that would give you five milligram per mil. Now let's move down the line. You can have a percentage solution. So you can have a solution that is a percentage. And we need to work out the exact concentration. So points that you need to keep in mind. Well, an easy way to work it out because there it's maths. There are various ways to work things out, but uh, easy way to to look at it for your percentage solution. The percentage represents the amount of gram, and because it's a percentage, the amount of fluid will always be. 100 mil or 100 mils. So the percentage, the number of the percentage represents the amount of gram. So if it's 1%, it's one gram. If it's 2%, it's two gram. If it's 3%, it's three gram. Three grams, right? Represents the amount of grams. And because it's a percentage solution, we always use 100 mils. Now the example one, you have a 5% solution. And we need to find the exact concentration in grams per mil. It is five gram in 100 mils. So that's five divided by 100 because we're dividing the decimal point has to move to the left, right? So it has to move to the left, two places to the left because it's 100. So the answer is 0 0.05 grams per mil. Example two is you have a 10% solution. It's 10%, so the 10 represent 10 gram, the percentage represents 100 mils. And if we're finding the exact concentration, it is 10 divided by 100. Again, we're dividing, so we have to move that decimal point to the left, two places to the left because it's 100. So it's 0 0.1 gram per mil. So 10 divided by 100, 10 grams divided by 100 mils is 0 0.1 gram per mil. Now, you can have a percentage solution, but the concentration that you want to find is in milligrams, right? So the con concentration that you want you want it in milligrams or you're required to break it down in milligrams so we have a five percent solution and we need to get the exact concentration in milligrams the five percent represents five grams so the first thing we have to do is convert that to milligrams to convert five grams to milligrams, we have to multiply by a thousand, right? We have to multiply by a thousand because it's from a, a large measurement to a small measurement. So it's five grams times 1,000. And that would give us 5,000 milligram in 100 mil and when we work out the exact concentration that would give us 50 milligram per mil all right 
Oops, let me zoom out. All right, for example, why is this like this? Go on, best fit, actual size. Okay, example four. We have done example, let me backtrack a bit. Example three, yes, we have done three. Example four, you have a 10% solution and we want that in milligrams. The 10 represents 10 gram. It's a percentage solution, so we're gonna use 100 mils. But we need it, the exact concentration in milligram. So the first thing that we need to do is convert the 10 grams to milligrams. It's a large measurement to a small measurement. So we multiply by 1,000 based on the metric scale. So it's 10 grams times 1,000, and that gives us 10,000 milligrams in 100 mils. And then we work out the exact concentration using the formula. So that's 10,000 milligrams divided by 100 mils. And that would give us 100 milligrams per mil. Classwork. You have a 10,000, sorry, you have a 20% solution. What is the exact concentration of a 20% solution in gram and milligram? So in gram and milligram. Why are we taking so long? I only see one person answer so far. Okay. Some of you lost, man. Some of you in the wilderness. <laughs> eh, it's morning at the wilderness. All right, so, okay. It cannot be 200 milligrams alone as the answer. You have milligrams and mils available here. They don't cancel out, right? So the measurements do not cancel out for this question. So you should have milligrams and mils in the answer. You should have milligrams and mil in the answer. Someone in their bush when they need search and rescue, right? Some of y'all need search and rescue. All right, so let me see who got the, the answer correct. All right, so working with the, the grams first, right? If we're working with the grams first, the 20% would represent 20 grams, correct? 20 grams in 100 mils. So if we divide 20 by 100, that's going to give us 0 0.2 grams per mil. If you don't have 0 0.2 grams per mil, your answer is incorrect for the exact concentration in grams. It must be 0 0.2 gram, grams per mil, okay? Now, for the next part of the question, if it's 20% solution and we want the exact concentration in milligrams, then we have to convert the, the 20 grams to milligrams. It is a large measurement to a small me measurement, so we have to multiply that by a 1,000. That would give us 20,000. So it's 20,000 milligrams in 100 mils. 
So you divide that by 100. And that would give you 200 milligrams per mil. If you don't have 200 milligrams per mil, your answer is incorrect. We cannot leave off measurements if they are necessary. Because if you are, if I am picking up a order and the measurements is not there, I can make critical errors when giving that medi medication. So you cannot leave off units if they are necessary. <clears throat> Sometimes they will cancel out, but we will get to that. We're not at that stage yet. So there are some persons at sea, right? Definitely some persons at sea. All right. No, we're not going to Russia. Not going to Russia today. So we will stop at um, the milligram. I'm not going to touch the ratio yet because I'm losing some persons. All right. So let me just change the numbers around. If you have a 60%, 60% solution, and you need the exact concentration in grams per mil, what would be the answer? 60%. Okay. All right. Okay, so if it's a 60% solution, the 60% re represents 60 gram in 100 mils. So we simply divide 60 by 100. Okay, cool. All right, if you have if you have a 100% solution and you need to give the, you need to find the exact concentration in milligrams. So it's a 100% solution and you want the exact concentration in milligrams. What would that be? seen some amount of consistency. I think I still think that some of you in the wilderness. All right, so let me stop the recording now because this is where I will stop in